Hello and welcome back. Happy November. Happy New Moon in Scorpio. Happy 111 Day. Happy, what else did I forget? Happy Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> Happy all the things. Today is a jam packed day. And it's also the first of the month, Friday. So exciting. So I was excited to see that this arrived. This is the Sawin box from Flying Monkey Totes. Let's get it in so I can get all this stuff up on my altars. And yeah, a huge thank you to Sarah for sending me this box. I will leave the link for the next box down below, as well as all the information that you need. Let's see what we got. Ooh, looks like we have Hecate, maybe? Because of the keys. But I like that. That reminds me of, is it, is it Krishna? Maybe Krishna, the one with all the arms? I don't know. Um, very pretty box. Love that. Sorry if you hear the crunching. Horace decided now is a perfect time to be snacking. <laughs> All right, let's see here. A little sneak peek. We got some cool groovy stickers. We got this cute cat. Some psychedelic mushrooms. Love that. A beautiful sun. And this groovy, I wonder if you stare at it, if something is in there, you know, like that, what is it, the 5D art? I forgot what it's called, but I think you guys know what I mean. If not, you're missing out. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay. And then here is her business card. I'm going to check her out. All right. First thing we have here, ooh, some Egyptian musk incense. That sounds lovely right now, actually. I don't know where I put my lighter though. I swear that lighter is just like never wanting to stay where I put it. <laughs> where the heck is it? Okay. Lighter has been acquired. This has a very clean scent to it. Hope you guys all had a beautiful, magical Samhain. I feel like I've been just, you know, going, 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 going. And so the strong message that came through for me was to rest. So that's what I did yesterday. And, you know, I did all the things, but I prioritized rest. I hope if you also felt the same way that you also rested, because even resting, you're still connecting and doing all the things all right we got that let me take this out of oops that was nothing in the box that was my pumpkin that was over here <laughs> i'm gonna take all the things out so i can put the box in the background yeah it looks like it was hecate on the cover this artwork is like stuck in the bottom so i'm gonna get it out <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but like the peanuts flew everywhere. Okay, all right. Hopefully it's bright enough. I can't tell if it's my phone or what's going on. Hopefully everything's good to go. All right. See you. We have the Hecate Samhain ritual. Put that over here. And then we have our musk. Okay, we have some tea. We have chocolate tea, which is black tea, dark chocolate, vanilla extract. Why do I feel like it's so dark? All right, there we go. It was just my phone. <laughs> All right. And then a little something about Hecate. It says, embracing both light and dark, the great Greek goddess Hecate, mother of witchcraft, oversees the night, the moon, magic portals, and is the guardian of the crossroads. As granted by Zeus, Hecate is goddess of land, sea, and sky, a revered triple moon goddess she represents, or she presents three faces, maiden, mother, crone. Hecate is often depicted with a pair of torches to light us through darkness. Her familiars, the hellhounds that guard the gates to the underworld, and serpents for healing as well as poisoning that which no longer serves. 
She carries keys to unlock hidden depths of the mind, daggers to use in life, death, and rebirth, and she can take the life with a blade or unleash life anew by cutting the umbilical cord. Her vast dominion includes the realm of the restless dead. Hecate is guardian of those who have passed and spirits who are caught in the liminal space between life and the afterlife. She eases a transition from the realm of mortality to the afterlife, but as guardian of the crossroads, she stands at the threshold between life and death, ensuring that spirits may find their way. Within the realm of ancestors, Hecate can play a vital role in establishing connections with our forebears. She assists us in seeking their guidance as well as honoring their memory as guardian of the dead. She facilitates his connection and helps us forge meaningful relationships with our ancestor. As someone approaches, the opportunity to seek guidance through contact with our ancestors is present. As veils between the worlds thin, we reach a crossroads and access to ancestral wisdom that is held by Hecate. She's ever present to offer her support on this night. Hail Hecate. And I feel like this is a sign because I've been like going back and forth with like the fourth goddess I'm going to be doing something with and I've had her name in the mix but I keep taking her out and then like the last few days she's just been hounding me about it having to be her and I feel like this is <laughs> even further confirmation so I love that I'm excited even though I already have an altar to her I just I didn't know if it was going to be right for what I was doing but anyways the next thing we have here that's really intriguing me is something like this let's see what this is It says alchemy from alchemy england it just says about alchemy it doesn't really say anything about the actual piece i don't think yeah it just says about this is what it says about alchemy i just want to pause to read about it and then here oops, and then here So I don't know what it is, but it's from Alchemy. Look at how cool, I guess it's a pin. <laughs> Duh, maybe? I don't know, I thought it was like a purse holder or something. Um, here we go. I love that, it's like a little fay. That's beautiful. That might be my favorite thing so far. Okay. And the next thing we have here is something like this. I think it's a coaster, also from Alchemy. Go. and it's a ceramic coaster that says queen of the night oh that's beautiful i love that she always finds the coolest fucking things okay um let's see oh okay so this is an ear wrap it's squeezed gently to fit fastens that lobe with surgical steel post okay so i guess if you put that in here and then around your ear that's fucking cool huh all right i had to look at the spoiler card for that okay next thing we have are candles and i think it had a little um scarecrow hopefully you can see there we go They always smell so freaking good. Ooh. I think they're lavender, maybe? They're green and white. Oh, we got a little jack-o'-lantern. How cute. <laughs> they smell beautiful. Love that. Okay, then we have something like that. And then we have a little prayer and it says on this day i give you praise and honor i thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing and all that you will do may your torches ever shine bright upon my path in life thank you mother hecate goddess of sky land and sea hail hecate this feels like it's broken or maybe there's several pieces in here i don't know what's what i'm feeling <laughs> But I'm scared as I unwrap it. Oh, okay. oh, there's several pieces. Okay. That is so cute. Okay. All right. So we have several shards of kyanite 
and a cute ass little skull of um, a labradorite. So here are kyanite pieces. And then look at this fucking adorable flashy skull. Oh, I'm a sucker for a flash. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> It's so, look at that little menacing face. Sorry for my fucked up nails. I don't have time to fix my nails. Okay. That's adorable. And then here's what it says about blue kyan. I always like to use it to repel negativity or to like absorb it and get it away from me. There we go. And of course, Labradorite. Who doesn't love Labradorite? All right, and then we have one more thing in here. It looks like maybe, oh, or there's another thing in here. It was inside there. Or maybe it goes together? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I can't tell if this is like a cauldron or like a little stand. Ooh, oh, what is this? What? Because it's a clock? Maybe this is a battery? All right, let's see. Yeah, all right. Oops. Help them. Um, what time is it right now? It's 12.47. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see if you can hear it. Can you hear that tick? Oh, you can see it. We'll let it be ahead. I like to be ahead anyways. So, <laughs> here we go. Look at that. That's so cool. I love that. I don't have anything like that. Oh, what a cute little box. I fucking love everything. Okay. And here is a Samhain prayer for the ancestors, if you want to read that. If it would ever focus. There we go. Oh, and that was a spoiler card, right? Yeah. So we have the triple moon desk clock. So freaking cool. Queen of the night poster, incense tea, crystals, ear wrap, and the ritual, and the box. Oh, I love everything. Oh my gosh, if I had to pick, if I had to pick three favorites, it's going to be the clock, the ear wrap and then this freaking little skull <laughs> i just love it so much um again huge thank you to sarah what a beautiful box i'm so glad to use everything and i love that box and it's a sign and thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your favorite item was down below and wishing you all a very beautiful month of november and thanks again for watching bye